The Woodlark Gold Project is located in the archipelago nation of Papua New Guinea in the South Pacific. One of the major industries in Papua New Guinea is the gold mining sector. As the country hosts some of the world's largest gold deposits, the Woodlark Gold Project is located on Woodlark Island, which is approximately 600 kilometers east of the capital city of Port Moresby, which is accessible by both air and sea, with an established landing strip and port facility on the island. Geo-Pacific Resources announced the progressive earning acquisition of the Woodlark Project in mid-2016. The company will earn up to an 80% interest in the project by progressing its development through a number of predetermined milestones or cash commitments. The project currently has three defined deposits across a total project area of 450 square kilometers. These deposits have a combined reserve of just under 800,000 ounces and a resource of 2.1 million ounces of gold we see excellent potential to expand both the reserve and resource in the future. However, as increasing the reserve to 1.2 million ounces of gold is the first major ownership milestone for Geo Pacific, the company will make this its initial priority. This work has already begun, with a three drill rig, 15,000 metre program commencing in late 2016. The key areas of focus for this program is around the Kula Medau and Busai deposits. Both deposits remain open a long strike as well as at depth. In addition, both deposits have inferred resources within the pit shell areas that will potentially be converted into reserve status through this current drill program. There are multiple other factors that affect the project reserve, including cutoff grade, costs, and the assumed gold price. All of these factors will be reviewed when the updated reserve is released, with a likely positive effect on the size of the reserve. A definitive feasibility study was completed on the Woodlark project in 2012. However, given changes in economic conditions since this report, as well as a potential increase in the project's gold reserves, GeoPacific is required to complete a bankable feasibility study as their next major ownership milestone. Work on this study has commenced, so we discussed areas of potential improvement compared to the original DFS with Managing Director Ron Heeks. We're currently spending a lot of time looking at the operational costs of the project. We see considerable savings here with power generation. We're looking at LPG as one option, which should lower power generation costs significantly. We're also looking at redesigning the mill to use a better processing circuit to reduce power consumption. When your power generation costs are 60% of the operational costs, this is significant. The more that we can lower those operational costs, the lower our in-pit cutoffs will be, the more ore that we will get out of the pits. This will also dramatically affect the strip ratio, and we're looking at being able to halve the strip ratio from the current 9 to 1 figures. All of these will produce significantly better project economics. On the CapEx side, rebasing the costs from the original 2010 study are progressing well. And we see that there are huge savings in the way the plant was going to be constructed and how we would run the operation available to us. All these things will help advance the project forward quickly. The company has already established strong relationships with the local community whilst all environmental approvals and mining permits are in place, meaning construction could commence once the bankable feasibility study is completed. The project will be mined via a typical open pit method, which will involve drill and blast, load and haul. Once mined, the ore will be processed via a typical CIL processing facility with an initial 1.8 million tonne per annum throughput. CIL, or carbon in leach, is the most common method to process ore into gold dore globally. We have forecasted production from Woodlark of around 100,000 ounces of gold production per annum over an initial 12-year mine life. First production is targeted for 2019.